Hello, in this JavaScript video, I am going to cover the DOM, so which is the document object model, and that's essentially, you know, this right here, all of this, you no know, good stuff, you know, all of this, which, you know, we don't have much of. So let's actually add something. Let's add a div, we'll add a div, and I'll say hello world. I'm also gonna add not add an ID equals hello world. Okay. So in our JS file, what we'll do is use the document. So this is really cool. You can manipulate the DOM. Document dot we can get the element. So get element by ID and here's what you put in here. We'll just put it'll be hello world. Hello world, let's actually just console log out what this gives us. It's gonna be pretty interesting. I always like looking at this, it's a very interesting thing. So if we go to console, it says no. So let's have a look. So document get element by ID. Hello world. And ah I realize the problem is is because this code is running before the actual page is rendered so that element doesn't exist at that moment in time when that javascript code is run so let's just add it right here so if there's any javascript that needs to be run and it needs to be run after the code like I said in the setup video make sure you just put it at the bottom of the bodies just before the closing tag you can either do it like this or add a file i'll just put it in line like this and i'll grab hold of this yeah, save it okay so into here reload and we get that so we get literally the entire element so let's go a step further i'm actually going to maximize this a little bit so as you would see and go a step further if we want to get let's say hmm, just the actual text itself. So the methods you can do like dot in a HTML, for example. This gets hello world. But let me show you if I were to put you know this like you know a bold tag, for example. Reload. It gets the entire HTML. So you might not actually want that, you might want something in particular. You can use that get a value method for that. And I'm actually gonna leave that as an extra task for you. You can also assign stuff. So whenever you do like dot in dot in a HTML, that's get that's getting the inner HTML. But if you were to do equals something, you'll add you'll actually replace it with this, you know, new HTML. So there are some other methods. I mean, there's a lot of methods that you can use. You can use methods for essentially, well, can you do? You can get like a bunch of classes. So you can get everything that has a particular class. You can change the styling of it. You can change CSS as well. So let's actually change the CSS. So if I do document, put some new line, dot get element by ID. Hello world, and then I'll do dot. So you can either do yeah, you do dot style dot color equals, and let's actually just put red. So if I reload it, it's been changed to a color of red. So we've modified the actual CSS as well, and that uh, obviously if we right click inspect, as you can see, you know it's got a different style attribute. So that is really, really cool. And that's it for the document object model, the DOM. There are, you know, there's a lot more functionality that you can utilize and you will utilize a lot. But as long as you understand this is a format document, which is like everything on your page. And, you know, you, you, you use some sort of retriever, so like dot get element on by ID, or dot get, you know, things dot get elements by class, for example, and then you would use maybe a loop to go over any, any of those classes as an extra task. Have got that i'll provide a link for all of that information as well and then you could you know either get data from it and if you were to just print this out as an extra task that's all that's one way to do just print this out just console log it you'll get the actual color whereas if you do equals 
it assigns a new value to it to whether it's the color property or whether it's the actual elements HTML itself. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.